Today we're going to uh, show you how to change the low beam light on a Chevrolet Traverse. Real simple, a lot of people think that you have to take the whole uh, front fascia off to get to the low beam, and that's not the case. If you're replacing the left uh, low beam headlight, make sure to turn the wheel all the way to the right, cut the vehicle off so the tire will be uh, locked in place. Come a little bit closer here. There's two bolts, actually screws we're going to get to. You can fast forward this if you want to, but try to do something in real time. There's one, there's one more right here. These are the only two you need to remove. Now we're gonna take the front of the fascia, kind of pull it away from the inner fender, pull the inner fender back, reach up here behind the headlight, and there's a, a round plastic piece I'll show you when I turn it counterclockwise. It comes out, I sit right there, and when we put it back in, we'll turn it clockwise to go into. Grab the headlight bulb, turn it out. All right, so we got the new headlight bulb. It's a halogen BP1255 forward slash H11, and we're gonna put this bulb back in there. Now, what I'm not gonna show you this is because the wiring harness is not that long. Because when you put it back in there, the harness goes one way. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. The harness fits into here. And if you notice, there's no notch on this side. But this side there's a notch so you will feel a little connector on one side where it clips onto so be sure to put it on that put it back in turn it and we're going to put the cover back on it put your two screws back and you're done it takes a maximum of about maybe five to ten minutes get both hands in here You can tell at the front right here, we have a new bub coming walk around the front here. And now you can use the bub as a flashlight to put it back into place. And there it is, the bub is back into place. Take the cover here, put the cover back on. I'm gonna turn the cover clockwise. Just rotate it till it falls into place. It's kind of like a lid on a, a soda bottle or whatever. And you got to look with your hands. There we go. That's on. Push the inner fender well back in. Replace the two screws and we're done. Thanks for watching.